We started frequencies in 2013, and I think we can estimate that to date we, we have over 40,000 canvases. Uh, we have visited uh, 34 individual countries um, and engaged with, with uh, hundreds of thousands of kids. So I think you know the idea that you have 40,000 canvases. I mean, it's, it's effectively like having a, a reference library or entering a reference library. And to me, the idea of the, of the equator and frequencies is just a, allows for, for a greater um, landscape to be, to be researched, to be understood, um, for a, a diverse number of, of places to be taken into account and so on and so forth. The, the canvas as a, as, a, as a skin or as a, as a recording device that sits idle is picking up activity, picking up uh, movement, uh, conscious information or unconscious information. It's, it's then evidence of, of that individual, it's evidence of a certain area, it's evidence of a certain social strata, um, econ economic reality, um, and hence you start seeing all these different frequencies. Um, I definitely think the journey like, to get here is special because you know, you have to go through all of the stuff like putting the canvases out, hoping that people write on the canvases, um, doing like, I don't like, just the whole process of it is like amazing. Yeah, I mean, school children are, you know, fighting or, or are wrestling with, with doctrine and, and they don't vote. So they are a little bit like ghosts, you know, in a society. I think that they are this, this they themselves are recording devices. Um, and the canvases are just there to, to pick up all that information. Like Kenya, for example, um, with characteristics of, of these canvases, you know, having this yellowish patina, suggestive, one could say, of, of, a, of an earthliness that perhaps the environment or nature kind of infiltrates into that, into these canvases. Uh, or you look at canvases from Argentina, for example, um, or Chile you know, th there is this more kind of anarchic, you know, energy, for example. It, it, it could really be an endless investigation of, of, of humanity and, and time. We say that a child is a reflection of its society, is a bit of a sponge, and, and, and we have all this information. The goal really has, you know, has been to, ultimately, regardless of the number, you know, the project becomes symbolic you know, in the face of humanity, in the face of society, in the face of growth, in the, in the face of change, it becomes a symbolic gesture. So, you know, 40,000 40, is really a symbolic number.